In this lecture, we will explore the feature Shell. Shell enables you to easily empty parts from the inside. So we can go from the model on the left to the model on the right. And to illustrate this, we will create the following model. You can download this drawing from the download section linked to this lecture. To create this model, we will be following this plan. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we will make sure our measurement system is set to inches as per the drawings. So we're going to go to the lower corner and set that to IPS. Now, starting our first stage of our model, we're going to go ahead and select the top plane and draw a circle. We're going to dimension that to 4.5 as per the drawing and then extrude it to 7.5 as shown in the drawing as well. Then I'm going to select this top plane and then I'm going to start a new sketch. I'm going to use the feature convert entity to get the overall circle again and then I'm going to draw a line like this. I'm going to make sure this line is vertical and the length of this line is 3 inches as in the drawing as well. Now we have a fully defined sketch. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to use extruded cut and I'm going to cut this part here. So I'm going to select that and then in the option I want to throw all. So I'm going to select throw all and then click OK. Now we have our outer shell or the general shape of our shell. So let's go ahead and start exploring the feature shell. In the features menu, you will find shell here. So if we click on it, we'll get multiple options. First options fall under parameters and the second option falls under multi-thickness setting. We're going to use both of those in a second. So let's go ahead and focus on the first part. Under parameters, there is a dimension space, D1. This dimension illustrates the thickness of the shell. So if I leave it at 0.1 and I click OK, I've already applied the feature shell. But we can't see anything because the shell is inside. If I go to cross section, you will notice the whole object was shelled and the thickness of the wall is 0.1 inches as we have set it in the shell feature. Let's go ahead and go back to the shell feature. Below D1 you will see a space where we can select faces. If we leave the mouse here it says faces to remove. From the name whatever face we select here will be removed. So in our drawing the top face is removed so if we click on the top face and then click OK, you will notice that the top face is removed. If I go ahead and remove this cross section view, you will notice that our shell has no top. However, in our drawing, we notice that there are different thicknesses for this wall here and for the wall at the bottom. To do this, we're going to utilize the other option which is multi-thickness settings. So we're done with the first option. The overall thickness is 0.1, which is the same as in the drawing. And the faces to remove is only the top face. Now the thickness here around this wall is set to 1 inch. So if I go to this multi-thickness setting and I can select this surface and increase this dimension to 1 inch. Now if I click OK, you will notice this thickness increase to 1 inch. If I go again to cross section, you will notice all thicknesses in this wall and in the bottom wall are still left at 0.1 inches. Another thickness we have is at the bottom. The bottom is set up to 0.5 inches in thickness. So again, we're going to go back to our same shell features. We're going to go to edit feature. 
and under multi thickness features we're going to select the bottom face so I'm going to select that and I'm going to decrease this one inches to 0.5 inches now we have set two different thicknesses notice if I go back and I click on face 2 which is the one on the side the dimension would change to 1 inches and if I go to phase 3 which is the one at the bottom changes to 0.5 inches so this is all the settings we want if we click OK you will notice the thickness here is 1 the thickness at the bottom is 5 the thickness at the rest of the body is 0.1 which is exactly what is shown in the drawing and this explains the feature shell so while we're at it you can go ahead and experiment with the different options this feature provides.